In the law, it says if the states don't provide them, the federal backstop will. The federal government has been sort of slow in putting out its backstop, I think partly because they want to sort of squeeze the states to do it. I think what's important to remember politically about this is if you're a state and you don't set up an exchange, that means your citizens don't get their tax credits. But your citizens still pay the taxes that support this bill. So you're essentially saying to your citizens you're going to pay all the taxes to help all the other states in the country. I hope that that's a blatant enough political reality that states will get their act together and realize there are billions of dollars at stake here. Instead of- wow. <laughs> As a case goes to the Supreme Court. Trying to decide whether the law said, well, precisely what the guy who designed it just said. Wow. Welcome. Glad you're here. More Uh, tape of Jonathan Gruber uh, surfacing by the day. A couple of things that showed up yesterday on Obamacare. The Chicago Tribune with an article about something we've been talking about. It is my uh, contention. It's clearly true that most people do not understand what a deductible is. It's um, yeah. troubling to say that, but it, it, it's, it seems to be clearly true, including the media, I think, by the way, because it's mostly young people. I had no idea what my deductible was when I was 25 years old. No idea. I have no memory of what it was, and I never needed to know. Really. Are, are you saying they don't know what deductible means or they don't know how much their own deductible is? Both. One or okay. both. Yeah. yeah. Both. I would never, say those it, those who don't know what it is don't know how much it is either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because when I was young and I never went to the doctor, I didn't know what it was because I never went to the doctor. So I just it just it wasn't even on my what I paid per month is all I cared about, and that's all the media cares about, and that's the only thing that, that well that's the only care the people uh, th- the people that are behind Obamacare that want you to like Obamacare. That's the only thing they want to talk about because they've come up with this system where they come up with these low premium plans. So you're not paying much per month, but your deductibles are ridiculous. I mean they're through the roof. So this Chicago Tribune article, which is finally catching up with this story about some nice couple that just found out when they went to the doctor, she's a uh, 63 and uh, her and her husband and. Uh, are in their 60s. They've been married a long time. She finally needed to go to the doctor and realized she has a $5,000 deductible. Oof. They have an income of $22,000 a year. So they signed up for the cheap Obamacare uh, plan. Wasn't going to cost much. And uh, they have a $5,000 deductible. And she, and she said in the Chicago Tribune, I'm never going to use it. I can't use it. I can't afford it. And it talks about how of the 200,000 Illinoisans that signed up for Obamacare, about a third of them are on these plans where they have a deductible anywhere between five and $6,000 a year. Right. So, so, so the, and, and so you, you can't count those people as having so-called affordable care under the Affordable Care Act. What's affordable about a $6,000 deductible if your income is $20,000 a year? Well, it's very affordable unless you ever, ever need to use it. Right. Uh, by the way, are you out of doors now? Um, it had just started raining to beat hell. That's how loud it is. Wow, you got tin roofs there, and, and it, it was on. raining. It was raining hard before. Yeah, but it must. I don't know. I haven't stepped outside. I should step outside. It's crazy out there. Yeah, I was just looking at the uh, the California weather map, and uh, boy, there's uh, very rainy, very, very rainy, rainy. And, uh, and and furthermore, uh, what was the other thing he said? Super duper rainy. Super duper rainy. Well, that's right. I hate to, you know, get all technical on everybody, but as a uh, a close relative of Ash Carter, the <laughs> physicist and new uh, new sec def. Oh, by the way, uh, my sister nailed it down for me. Uh, he, uh, my my grandmother, my sainted grandmother, uh, one of the best people to ever stride the earth, and and her husband too. Uh, just absolutely love him, love him. Uh, God bless them. I hope they're up in heaven at the right hand of God doing whatever you'd do there. Um, anyway, uh, her sister married Ash Carter's dad. So my grandmother's sister is Ash Carter's stepmom. Uh, it's cronyism or nepotism. <laughs> Can you say that one more time and let me think hard about it? My, my grandmother's sister. Your grandmother's sister. Is Ash Carter's... Was probably a slave owner, correct? No! No! Well, number one, she lived in the 20th century. <laughs> well, it was South Carolina. When did they stop oh, having slaves? It. Oh, my God. This Never. is 1971. This is... <laughs> regionalism. Never forget. Uh, um, uh, my, my grandmother's sister is Ash Carter's stepmom. That's pretty close. Uh, I think you're going to be at the White House parties. Oh, I certainly hope so. I got some stuff to say. Uh, yeah, I did, but that would have been when he was a uh, a full grown man. Uh, so it's not like she raised him or anything. That's very exciting that you are related to the Secretary of Defense. Uh, closely related, please. 
Yeah, well, yeah. You're practically brothers. Yeah. You might want to watch out, Joe, because as Jimmy Fallon, of all people, pointed out, uh, previous to Secretary of Defense, Bob Gates, remember he was in that neck brace that he wore? Yeah, during I his book tour, yes. And Chuck Hagel had that huge Band-Aid on his face when right. he retired. Right. It's a rough business being sec deaf, mm-hmm. apparently. Anyway, that's not what we were talking about, is it? <laughs> I got another example here from the Chicago Tribune article for uh, people in Chicago, as as everybody in that state, for instance, is just figuring out this whole, the reason your premium's low is because your deductible's so high. Um, here's somebody who's paying a monthly premium of $38 a month after the subsidies and everything like that, because the taxpayer's helping out on the, right? Right. We're $38 paying. a month. So you so you hear that and you think, oh, my God, I can't believe I can get insurance for $38 a month. And this particular person, their deductible is six grand a year. Wow. $6,000 deductible. Well, you're only paying $38 a month. Unless you get cancer like me or something, you're never going to hit $6,000. So you're paying for everything. You know, I can see the uh, some of our left-leaning listeners uh, even now typing emails saying, so you want people to not be able to get insurance at all? That's better People with cancer never get insurance again or something like that. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. We've, as we've said many times, the Republicans could have solved some of this, and they didn't. Because they're lying hypocrites, a lot of them. Uh, but Obamacare is not the answer. It is a nightmare. By the way, well, there's... Well, the, the point to me would be this. The whole impetus for Obamacare, the, the reason it got started in the first place was the however many million people in America we have that are uninsured. Well, those people... A lot of them are still uninsured. Right. It hasn't affected them. Saying they're insured is a lie. So we upended the entire health care system for nothing. Right. Right. By the way, a couple of more uh, Obamacare notes very quickly. Number one, there are, there are 317 million Americans, roughly. Only 4 million will pay the individual mandate. That's a whopping 1.26%. There are now more than 25 exemptions to it, some of which rely on the honor system, Kill it already. And by the way, the, uh, the the employer mandate is going away. It's just politically untenable. So all the stuff that was going to pay for this is gone. And all the stuff that we got to pay is way, 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 way higher than was sold uh, to us, the, to we, the people. It is an astounding. I mean, Jonathan Gruber was, was candid about the lack of transparency was the only way to pass it. Uh, and, and, you know, I appreciate him telling the truth, at least to uh, closed door meetings. Uh, the the level of deception, though, is just absolutely mind-boggling. And uh, one more Obamacare note that should be mentioned, and then we'll move on, because who wants to hear about Obamacare where you're driving to work in the rain, huh? Uh, the Hill. The Hill. What is The Hill, Joe? Jack, I would call it the uh, the official newspaper of uh, Congress. But it is in and, theory. And, and the, uh, the, the leeches, the remoras, the uh, predatory bugs. The I'm sorry, parasitic is what I meant, not predatory, who uh, latch on to Congress and, and suck their sustenance from it. But it is, in theory, nonpartisan, correct? Uh, yeah, mostly. Yeah. Uh, their article yesterday, the GAO has uh, come out with their numbers. Biggest insurers are flourishing under Obamacare. One of the complaints before Obamacare came along is that the, there are like three big insurance companies that have most of the insurance market and that they wanted more competition, and Obamacare was supposed to bring more competition. Well, the three largest insurance companies, which had an, held an average of 86% of customers in the individual market last year, uh, up from 83% in 2010. So they're actually growing in uh, power. Right. Competition has there's less competition now as there was before. Well, and you look at Nebraska, for instance, that percentage went from 42 percent to 61 percent in Texas from 39 to 53. So and and listen, here's your nickel version. Why? When so much runs through the crooks and robbers in the government in the in D.C. in particular, well, in Sacramento, in the case of California, um, Companies profit, not from innovation, not from customer service, but in learning to game politicians. And who's going to have the best lobbyists? Who's going to have the most attorneys who figure out how to scam the the system and then skim the fat? The big companies, they're doing a good job at it. Why? Because that's the spirit of competition in America now. Get the government to give you more. Oh, my God. 